Steam U Android finally got an update. Hey everyone, Beat here, back again with another Android emulation news and updates. We have some interesting updates for our favorite emulators today. But before diving in, a massive shout out to these guys. Just comment down your thoughts and I will include you in my next news video. Alright, to start, CMU finally got an update after bands of hiatus. CMU is a Wii U emulator mainly for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. However, Simco developed an Android port for this emulator. Experimental version 0.1 is the latest update and I noticed a significant reduction in file size from 39 MB to now only 15 MB. This could be the code cleanup. Anyways, there's a bunch of changes and I was surprised with add GUI for adding custom drivers. Don't get too excited yet though. I can't seem to find this feature inside the app. It's for future updates maybe. Anyways, a new feature is added. Title Manager. I believe this is where you can add updates or DLCs into your game. I did test it out a few games and no noticeable bump in performance yet. Breath of the Wild runs at around 15 FPS for my 8 plus gen 1 and NFS most wanted still crashes. Anyways, this is a good indication that the project is still in active development. RPCS3 Android is on fire. A new release is out, Alpha 3. Added initial virtual pad overlays, initial pre-compilation jury install, keep screen on, and a lot more. Link below if you want to test this build out. Next, and this is passive for Android Switch emulation. Zephyron recently uploaded in Citron's Discord server a showcase of multiplayer working on Android Citron. Based on the video, multiplayer feature can be accessed in the settings tab right under GPU Driver Manager. And you can host or join multiplayer servers from here with chat features to communicate with friends. Additional info is it can also connect to Windows and Linux servers using Yuzu, Suyu, Sudachi, or Turzo. Alright, during the time of editing, a build is now out where you can download and install and test it for yourself. So. Enjoy the update. A new Box64 released by Pizza. Box64 is used to run Linux programs on non x86 Linux systems. If you're using Winator, you should be already familiar with this. Anyways, this is a massive improvement. It has better compatibility with some DRM games. For example, Hogwarts Legacy is now playable. There are a lot of changes and if you want to check it out, link will be provided below. I can't provide you with any download links for now but I'm pretty sure in no time I will later work with Back 640.3.4 or a WCP file will be available for download. Lastly, a new later fork is available on GitHub, Winlater Bionic. I believe this fork can use a different graphics wrapper utilizing native drivers to run games. Anyways, an update is now available. Link below if you're interested. Alright, that would be all for today's Android emulation news and updates. A like and subscribe would be great. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.